Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna tell you how to remove butyl rubber um, residue from headlights. I recently took a project um, of modifying some headlights and I looked online what was the easiest and safest way to remove butyl rubber. Pretty much how to get this to look like this. See how it's pretty clean? Um, People are recommending all sorts of stuff, uh, goo gone and this and that. They're worried about fogging with the lenses. The best way I found it, they also said you could um, use a heat gun. The problem with a heat gun is if you stay too long in one area, you could warp the plastic. So the best way I found was you take a microfiber towel, you put hot water in here, the hottest you can get it. Uh, this is from the tap, but it is really hot. That's why I'm wearing these gloves and I can still even feel it. You take the, the microfiber towel, and then what you do is, as soon as you rinse it, you put it on the edge and you hold it there, like this. It's really hot to the touch and you just hold it there. You apply pressure to the uh, edges and then you just start pulling down. See how it comes off? I mean, I, I, I was looking for ways on how to do this and I said, you know what, let me try something. And as you can see, it's coming off. And just to show you, this is the, 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 the glue, look. See, the glue is there, see, look at the glue. So, we put this in here. This is really hot, I mean, I didn't boil it, I just let the tap run for, for a minute or two when I saw the steam coming from the uh, uh, faucet. I decided that it was hot enough. I just leave the, um, the microfiber fiber towel in there and I just, rinse it really quick and then right away I just go on the edge of the area I want to remove and I just press on it yeah, and uh, you know others would tell you hey you could use a heat gun with a credit card yeah that's true but knowing me I might just focus on one part and then just warp the plastic or melt it and then I have a bigger problem so once I feel that this is uh, already softened the, the, the butyl. I just pull down, just like so. Now the other thing you have to be mindful of is you gotta make sure that you don't use the same part of the microfiber towel for another section because then you're gonna get butyl. Is it still uh, soft and sticky? You're gonna get it on, you know, another part of the lens and you can you know do this repeat various times I'm trying to keep my uh, video short and sweet I've had uh, so a few comments of people saying oh I lost so many so I'm sorry I like to explain in detail because a lot of videos say, okay this is how you do it they don't tell you by the way I didn't use soap in the, in, in the water you can use soap um, I figured that in the end once I'm done, I'll use soap and water to, to clean it off. If there is any light residue, you can get a clean paper towel, a uh, clean microfiber towel. And then you use that clean microfiber towel to uh, remove whatever is left over on the... Um, see? You press on it. Sorry for moving the camera. You press on it, and then you bring it out. So you hold it for a little bit. And then you just pull outwards. You can also um, pour hot water over it, Wh whatever works for you. But the warm, the hot water at a microfiber towel works just as fine. Works for me. And I uh, hope this helps anyone out there. Like I said, I was looking for a video out there, and there's a lot of suggestions. They show you how to remove it, and some people just go and they they'll reuse it, or they they will put the new butyl over it. I think it's better getting rid of the old one as much as you can so the new one could bond to the plastic. Anyway, if this video has helped you in any way, like and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.